South Australia's shark cage diving operators have been named the most sustainable in the world. But the abalone industry is calling for more research to examine whether the thrill-seeking activity encourages sharks to see people as prey. A three-hour boat ride from Port Lincoln, the Neptune Islands, are one of the few great white shark cage diving locations in the world. A recent study using 20 years of data has confirmed South Australia's regulation of the industry is world leading. And what we found by using acoustic tracking, we've been able to continue monitoring the residency of the shark. And over the years, at the same time as the regulation got put in place, the residency went back down to that baseline level. The number of sharks at the Neptunes rose in the late 2000s as tours increased. Oh, I feel to come down, just jump down that side. But the study has shown regulations introduced in 2012, limiting boat visits and the days they could run, led to a drop in the number of sharks. As a result, the tours are now being allowed an extra day per fortnight. A win for tour operators. The good that came out of that study was, was the recommendation to move away from ad hoc research sort of thing, that, that look, these are, these are animals that don't operate to our calendar. But the state's $45 million abalone industry says it should have been consulted. The industry has opposed cage diving tours since the 1970s. It's that familiarisation uh, that the sharks then have, and if there's an extra day that allows them to have that familiarisation with divers in cages, then it's an extra opportunity that there could be an interaction with one of our divers in a shark cage. Abalone divers want studies into whether burling and baiting is teaching great white sharks to associate humans with prey. Two very different opinions on how to manage the ocean's apex predators. Bernadette Clark, ABC News, Port Lincoln.